I'm here on um, our job site and I just wanted to show you guys what I did with the footings um, so you can see um, one method for constructing some footings. So what we have here is some rough grading that got really kind of out of hand um, and then we had these ditches here and a five-year-old and his friends that were jumping in and out of the ditches and they ended up kind of wrecking some of the sides of the the footing so i needed to find a way to minimize how much concrete i used and make these footings the actual size that they're supposed to be rather than having a bunch of overflowing concrete so what we did is put some stakes in and leveled some boards out and attached those um, up under here you can see there's just just two by fours hanging all the way along um, and spaced here they're not really having to support much weight we're not going to be standing on them um, during this process they're just there to be a nice level base for the top of the footing so then from those two by fours I took just old fence boards that we had laying around and I screwed those onto that 2x4 and I cut them at varying lengths so that they fit down in here. Um, and these are not in particularly nice shape. They're pretty rough. Um, some places I kind of backfilled to support the bottom of them because the concrete as it's going in here is going to be pressing up against that but then I've coated the whole thing with just a regular old house wrap so this is just like a Tyvek type product this is the Owens Corning version because that was what was cheap at Home Depot um, and I've laid those sheets over the top so I cut them I bought a nine foot piece and since these are two foot footings I cut them at three feet and then just wrapped them over the top and just staple them you know so every 8 to 12 inches just threw staples in up the top and it actually folded over really nicely and came out with a pretty flat um, section in there and then the bottom is open so I expect these to really kind of press in and so the um, the concrete's just gonna press out here but what is gonna happen what I'm hoping is going to happen is as it presses and it hits those boards, it keeps the concrete from kind of filling. It should keep the concrete from filling in these big voids here. But you can see that that paper, that house wrap there, um, you know, is spanning between the boards. Um, so this is a method that I couldn't find anywhere so it's just a test I don't know that it's going to work for sure but um, worst case scenario I have to order mm -hmm. some more concrete if, for what starts slipping out here and getting in the way but um, I think it's going to work so we'll see I'll um, send some videos from as we're pouring right now I've um, got everything wet the pump, uh, pump truck is here Already there's the pump line and the concrete trucks coming in about an hour. So it's generally worked holding it in and then uh, right here though, that uh, popped out and so we've got a little bit of a bow right here, but everything else is working. It's all done. Worked really well. what it looks like after some of the form work has come off. So let me see here, kind of it's pooched out, but um, 
it held really nicely. I've got a nice top three and a half inches of um, form and then and then it pooches out after that but um, it saved a lot of concrete. You can see how much concrete would have been needed to fill to my rough grading there. So, um, and the formwork is coming off pretty easily. And finally you can see here how it ended up coming out um, really well. So it pooches out a little bit under our um, upper formwork, but it worked really well. On the outside, we're just cutting it down wherever, um, you know, wherever we can reach. And then on the inside where a slab is gonna go, I've actually folded it back because once this is all filled with uh, leveled and has some sand in it, then when I put the visqueen, I'm actually gonna tie the visqueen plastic into this as well so that the um, plastic barrier is now going to actually wrap all the way down, um, all the way around the footing for this slab here. So I would say that it worked really, really well. Definitely recommend it. Um, over here where um, one of the screws sheared on our stakes, um, the whole formwork kind of pushed out and we're not able to get these boards out. So we're just gonna have to cut those off a couple inches down um, and then they'll just, they're gonna stay put. Those boards will be there. So all in all, um, I think that this worked really well. I would definitely recommend it. And um, I would say that this probably saved us maybe four or five yards of concrete. When we ordered the concrete, it was, um, two full trucks which are is 19 uh, yards and I had calculated that I wanted like 19 and a third yards just to be careful and um, because two trucks is 19 yards I got 19 yards and it just worked the truck was just being empty when we filled in the last little part so it worked great um, definitely saved us a lot of concrete probably saved us a lot of money too so uh, hopefully this helps someone out there 